show note, folks. You can skip my personal take on the subject, a.k.a. my rant, and go right to the six-minute point and get right to the subject, right to the presentation. What's up, Truth Hurts people? So I have this incredible clip uh, from a presentation from this professor, okay? And he's, it's from The History of the Latter Han Dynasty, Volume 1, Chronicles of Emperor Guang Wu, 7th year. And he's going to talk about what happened there in 31 AD. Now, historians, like secular historians like Josephus, they have Jesus being born a few years before what we call year zero, okay? So, if he was born four years before that, this so-called happening that happened in the middle of the day in China in the year 31 would put Jesus at 33 years old. It would put the time of the happening at the crucifixion and it's just another little piece of the puzzle of a million pieces to a puzzle that got me to believe what I believe at this point in my life okay because I have no faith I don't have I don't have any faith like I know God exists I know a creator exists because I did a ton of LSD and meditated into the entire like source and uh, you know I saw things I became things that made me know for a fact that I'm part of something much larger and much more intelligent etc etc but it all it did was give me more questions it didn't give me any answers but as far as believing the Bible narrative it was the very 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 last place I thought I'd end up it's the last place I wanted to end up. There's definitely a chicken and an egg and a cart and a horse aspect to this entire process, which in the end, for most people, it doesn't even matter. But for the majority, okay, forget most, the majority of us have been programmed and dumbed down and scienced, scienced all of the all of the god the creation all of the beauty and the magic of life right has been scienced right the hell out of us okay <laughs> they just they just got rid of that i mean you're just a glorified monkey the basically some kind of ooze some primordial just shit soup okay and that's like and it's dying universe and a dying corner and nothing that's going to die and it's all i mean it's just you just <laughs> might as well just throw yourself off a cliff right now okay go listen to lawrence krauss or neil degrasse tyson the top two astrophysicists and they'll tell you you're a piece of shit nothing but you're not okay but the way the reality works is like it gives us all the puzzle pieces and the way the bible works is all the puzzle pieces are out there and you can either Believe the Bible first, and then you'll see all the puzzle pieces make that picture. Or you can spend 35 years researching three hours a day like me and doing the freaking puzzle piece by piece by piece until, you know, that last piece goes in and it's like, boom, ding, that Bible is real. And I'm telling you, truth hurts. The truth hurts. Like, that's the last thing I wanted to believe because then it would mean making some changes. But what happens is you get changed over time. You start to get changed um, from the inside out. So it's not like you have to start beating your head over the... the all these Christians that are running around that are like, oh my God, I'm born again and all this. Like uh, The harder they come, the harder they fall. Like, you, if you understand the trip then it's it's a slow process of um it's just a process and it happens naturally you become more and more convicted of of behaviors and this and that but um and, and all those people they just give the bible just the worst freaking it's the worst 
look. It's just a horrible look. People running around judging and judging and they're not even happy. They're just judging and just, you know, and, you know, judge lest you be judged. In the one in the one main prayer in the Bible, it says, "Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive others." Like, you're you're literally not gonna get like the pass unless you give other people the pass, turn the cheek, and all that. I could honestly rant for hours and hours and hours on this subject, and uh, start throwing. Next thing I know, I'll start I'll start throwing down all the puzzle pieces, and and it's a video that I've been wanting to make for years. I've started it 10 times. It's just a massive endeavor, right? The historical evidence of Jesus and the truth that he actually lived the biblical life the way it says, died, and yes, was resurrected. And it's just all too freaking much for me to do. All right. But maybe I will someday. So, let's get to the secular historical stuff right here. The darkness which suddenly occurred during the time of Jesus' crucifixion in the Gospel of Matthew is confirmed by secular sources. It's interesting that those who claim that the narrative of Jesus' death and resurrection in the New Testament is a fabrication and myth ignore the historical records of this event. How is it that a myth could be confirmed by non-interested and hostile parties? Roman historians record a supernatural event of unknown origin precisely occurring at noon on the day Jesus was crucified and lasting until 3 p.m. the same day, precisely as the New Testament Gospels say. Search your writings and you shall find that in Pilate's time, when Christ suffered, the sun was suddenly withdrawn and darkness followed. Rufinus, Greek historian. This is from Wikipedia. So if you search crucifixion darkness, you get the crucifixion darkness is an episode in three of the canonical gospels in which the sky becomes dark in the daytime during the crucifixion of Jesus for roughly three hours. Most ancient and medieval Christian writers treated this as a miracle and believed it to be one of the few episodes from the New Testament which were confirmed by non-Christian sources. Modern scholars, however, have found no contemporary reference to it outside the New Testament because they are satanic and full of shit and didn't bother looking into the ancient Chinese people. All right, for the love of God, I'm going to stop this rant, and we're going to let this guy get on with his presentation. All right, buddy, let's do it. Here's another record in the uh, Chronicles of Emperor Guangwu. It's dated 31 AD. Translated, it reads... <clears throat> Summer, fourth month of the year on the day of Ren Wu, the imperial edict reads, Yin and Yang, darkness and light, have mistakenly switched and the sun and the moon were eclipsed. The sins of all the people are now on one man. Pardon is proclaimed to all under heaven. The Chinese had no idea about Jesus in 31 AD. No Christian missionary would have gone to China because Jesus had just died. There weren't any Christian missionaries. And yet in their soul, in their spirit, they recorded this incredible statement in their history of the latter Han dynasty. And in their soul, they said this, this mysterious, unexpected darkening of the sun. The sins of all the people are upon one man. And pardon is proclaimed to all under heaven. They didn't know what they were writing. And it says here in the Annals number 18 of Gui Hai, Eclipse on the day of Gui Hai, man from heaven died. 
They had no idea what they were writing. Peace, y'all.